you'd better make sure you have a sturdy pair of boots. Welcome to Mojo Travels and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 places to hike or ramble in the UK. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the best walking and hiking routes, trails and mountains in the British Isles. Number 10. The Coniston Round, England This route is as scenic as it is easy. It's perfect for groups looking for a day out or for people who aren't avid ramblers. It'll take you in a circle throughout the Coniston Fells. Beginning in the picturesque northern village of Coniston, you'll go past the Old Man of Coniston, a 2,600-foot tall fell, and then go up to Grey Friar, the most remote peak in the whole region. After that, it's back down to Dow Crag a sheer fell popular with rock climbers and ultimately finishing in the village again. All in all, the journey takes about eight hours to complete. Number nine, Mam Tor, England. The Peak District has no shortage of mountains and hills, and Mam Tor, its name meaning Mother Hill, is a favorite there for people to climb and explore. The eastern side of the mountain has a now slow-moving active landslide, which has been ongoing for thousands of years, sometimes leading to road closures. But there's a lot to see in this district, and if you're looking for a great walk, you'll be able to explore the Great Ridge, a popular walking spot that separates two valleys. And if you hike up, the views from Mamzor's Peak are famous, as you'll be able to take in the neighboring White Peak made mostly of limestone and the Dark Peak made primarily of sandstone. Number 8. Mount Snowdon, Wales Undoubtedly Wales' most famous natural landmark, Mount Snowdon is the tallest peak in Wales and one of the most popular in the whole United Kingdom. While some mounting Snowdon can be a way to test your mettle and prepare you for the larger mountains in Scotland, it doesn't have to be arduous at all to reach the limit. There are six different walking routes you can use. If you're a beginner, you'll want to use the Llamberis Path, which, while being the longest, is also the easiest with the smoothest slopes. Although, if you really don't want to walk, there's a narrow railway line leading all the way up to the top. Snowdon is the highest mountain in England and Wales, and there are six main paths up to the summit. Number 7. West Highland Way, Scotland Mugai, Jimon. Ah, the famous Highlands. This walk in one section of the region is Scotland's first long-distance trail, a 96-mile route that will take you a long, dedicated week to complete, so it definitely isn't for the faint of heart. It begins just north of Glasgow, extending across many of Scotland's islets and finally ending at Fort William. You can visit the trail's individual sections separately if you don't have a whole week to spare exploring it, but equally, if you're able, there are ultra marathons running the full length of the route. And if you seriously want to prove yourself, the route ends at the foot of Ben Nevis, the UK's tallest mountain, so you can go the distance and scale that as well. Number 6. South Foreland Lighthouse Walk, England This is no long hike, but a wonderful walk that will take you along Britain's famous White Cliffs of Dover on the south coast. Though you might not want to go too close to the edges of these chalk monuments, the South Foreland Walk will take you near enough to see all the way across the English Channel to France, provided the weather is nice. Here you can also see the eponymous lighthouse, which was built in 1843, as well as explore various museums showcasing the area's importance during World War II. 
Just off the walk is a vast network of tunnels once used as a radio command center for the history buff in you. Ramble Underground. You were probably running down the stairs in your hobnail boots, full kit, carrying your rifles, your rucksacks, and getting your clothes on. Number five, the Lizard Peninsula, England. The British mainland's southernmost point is at the foot of Cornwall, a picturesque region with turquoise seas and golden beaches. While there are many areas to walk around here, the southwest coast path allows you to explore the whole of the southerly lizard peninsula. And what a great name, right? Here you'll be able to see plenty of beautiful fishing villages, isolated coves, and sandy shores. Being so far south also means the area is just a wee bit warmer than the rest of the UK. So if you don't like wind, rain, and fog, and want to bask in the sunlight, Cornwall is your best bet. Number 4. Trifan, Wales If Mount Snowdon sounds somewhat too easy for you, then you might want to give the even harder Trifan a try. Although, since they're both in Snowdonia, you could easily hit them both up and see which you prefer. If you're in this area of Wales and really want a challenge, then the rocky slopes of Trefan might be perfect for you. Be warned though, while it's a beautiful place to go, it's not for the inexperienced, and you'd do well to invest in the proper equipment if you want to scale it. Of course, you could always stay in some of the pretty Welsh villages and look at Trefan from a distance. Number 3. Causeway Coastway, Northern Ireland Let's move over to Northern Ireland. The country's smallish coast has a trail which runs for 33 miles of seaside. It's not a difficult trek and will take you past Northern Ireland's most famous features. These landmarks include the ruins of Dunluce Castle a cliffside medieval castle dating back to the 13th century, as well as the instantly recognizable Giant's Causeway, a unique geological feature. The Giant's Causeway was created at least 50 million years ago during a volcanic eruption, back when they still had volcanoes in Britain, and it also hosts a wide variety of wildlife. A trip to Ireland wouldn't be complete without visiting it. Number 2. Hadrian's Wall Path, England and Scotland The coast-to-coast -coast walk across the England-Scotland border has been renowned for years as one of the best long-distance trails in the UK. Spanning the length of Hadrian's Wall, built by the Roman Emperor in 122 AD to separate the two nations, the trail is 84 miles long. It takes you six days to hike the whole length, though there are many points along the wall where you can stop if you're not up for a week of walking. The trail features many more ruins dating back to Roman Britain, so if you're interested in ancient history, Hadrian's Wall needs to be added to your bucket list. Number 1. Helvellyn, England This has the moniker England's most popular mountain for a reason. Helvellyn is only the third highest peak in England, but is considered a much easier ascent, relatively of course, than the other mountains in the country. So don't worry if you aren't the most highly seasoned mountaineer. But it can get tricky. It's located in the beautiful Lake District, celebrated, as we've seen with Coniston earlier, as one of the most scenic regions of the UK. There are plenty of different routes to reach the peak, which has a flat summit allowing for panoramic views of the surrounding lakes and countryside. Now get out there and get inspired.
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.